late fall of 2019, I got my first GoPro camera, a Hero 7 Black. I wanted to mount it to one of my boats and get some onboard video, but I really did not want to drill a hole in my canopy. So I came up with this idea. Yup, I velcroed it to my UL19XR. This is strong and it's got this rubberized liner. You can pick the boat up by the GoPro. It wasn't coming off. GoPro, start recording. Forget that. <laughs> wow. Stayed on for about seven seconds. Check the timeline on the video. That's how long I got to enjoy my first GoPro. So what do you do? That came in the mail the next day. Not kidding. You buy another one though. That's what you do. And you drill a hole in your canopy and you get yourself a quarter 20 screw a couple rubber washers and with this mount you bolt it on your boat that's what you do Took the canoe down to the reservoir, casted a spoon, really sharp hooks, three hours, tried to line up off of shore from the concrete block that I stand on. 
You would think you'd get lucky, even. Dragged lower. Crossed. Velcro strap. So, what is the GoPro story? Well, I found the needle in the haystack. Here's my second GoPro that I bought after I lost this one in the reservoir. I had another idea and it involved two screenshots taking sight lines and I got my surf pole down there and I hooked it. You've got to be wondering by now where this came from. This was on this, and I hooked it and drug that baby back out of the reservoir. Here are the two screenshots that I used that I took from the running video from when the camera came off the boat as it was leaving shore. Got a shot with it on the boat, and then the next shot came off the boat. Probably not even 20 casts. Now, you look at them pictures, that notch in the trees, just to the left of it. Came off a little sooner than I thought, but probably 10 or 12 casts from that notch in the trees, and then over to the right casting to where I didn't see the camera on the boat. And then I probably made three or four casts just to the left of that notch in the trees. I'm not kidding you. My son said, not again in a million lifetimes would I hook this. I don't know. Three hours in a canoe, drifting around, trying to align where I thought the boat was. Didn't work. Or maybe I just got lucky and it works. October 16th, 2019. Sat under the ice, bottom of White River Reservoir. Needle in the haystack. By the way, I got the SD card out of here. And it's my pleasure to show you the running video from it and the trip this took to the bottom of White River Reservoir. Now I gotta bring it back. I can tell you that the feeling was as good finding this as it was bad losing it. <laughs> 